Hi guys, it's Apple. Come back at you. <laughs> oh my god, I just decided to turn on the camera because my kids are not here. They went to a friend's house and earlier I had taken my youngest one to his hip hop class. Oh my god, he is so good at dancing. <laughs> I'm so proud of him and he learns like really really fast and he has tons of fun so okay so and then his class his uh, dance class is going to actually put on a performance next weekend so I don't know they're gonna be practicing like a lot a lot a lot but like I'm so proud of him all the um all the parents took out their vid their phone they're like it's time to take a video <laughs> um, y'all know rich Lux right love him so entertaining <laughs> yeah so um yeah he's gonna do dance for um like for the black history month so yeah it's gonna be like really awesome it's like i don't know the name of the the music he's gonna be dancing to because it's like a mixtape but i really love it but anyways yeah so all the parents took out their video camera well their phones and i'm like oh i didn't bring my camera so i'm he, they have practice tomorrow so i'm definitely going to take some footage bring my camcorder um yeah so <laughs> anyways you guys so i wanted to talk to you guys about like um tana mojo oh my god <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so you guys, like, I usually liked Tana. I, I liked her because of her story times. I'm just like, oh my god, her story times are freaking hysterical. It's not going to be fun watching her story times. You know she's she's going to be lying her ass off. Like, really? I mean, it's only fun if it's, like, real, right? But did, she lost, like, about 2 million subscribers. You guys know that? I went to Social Blade and I'm like, yeah, she lost like a lot of subscribers. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about it? I mean, because like everybody's saying like, oh, she's only 18 years old. People make mistakes, but she's old enough to know like the one thing that you don't do is lie your pants off because you're eventually going to get busted on it. Lesson number one, le life lesson number one, do not lie especially big ass lies big lies right because you're always gonna get busted on it sooner or later sooner or later this chick has been on her channel for years now and she's she has like uh, gotten away with murder for like so long but it all caught up to her and her like apology video I'm like, girl, you didn't even touch on everything that people are talking about. You got, you made a comment on, I was, I dubs, barely like, I don't know, apologizing about that. And then the N word, right? But I'm thinking like, girl, your story, like, because she did those things, now everybody's coming out with all the other stuff she's been doing, like putting her seriously in the spotlight. Like, did you know that she had lied? She had said that the FBI had called her, called her, called her, called her, not uh, showed up at her door, no, called the girl and um, said, well, somebody said that, you know, uh, you, there was a bomb threat or something like that. And they said that you, you know, you're the one who did it, like at an airport or something like that. And I'm like, girl if that was true they wouldn't be calling you sweetheart they'd be knocking down your door believe me they don't call you <laughs> giving you a heads up to make a run for it if you really are bomb threatening right i don't know the girl is freaking lying about everything people made like a huge ass collection for a video and showed her um lying after lie after lie after lie after lie i was just like wow <laughs> And then, then, she was like, oh, did you hear that part where she um, did the suicide attempt? Like, I was going to kill myself and, um, you know, like, girl, you wasn't trying to kill yourself because from what we saw, you were at the rave, you were dressed to the nines, looking really cute. Girl, you were looking cute in that red dress and those red shoes with the lace around your ankles. It was very adorable. But sweetheart, no, you were not like trying to sit at home like, oh, you know, all miserable and like, oh, I feel so bad if it. No, 
you took your three weeks, went out and partied, have a blast, had so much fun. Like, hello? That apology video that she made? Come on. Somebody wrote that for her, but the girl can't remember the entire speech, right? So she would be like, um... All, it would be all choppy like, hi everyone, I'm so sorry for everything that I've done. I know that I wasn't supposed to use the n-word. And I'm so sorry about like the i-dubs thing. I'm this and I'm that. Then, then, the girl puts like three, three, three different ads up on her video. So basically she was like saying, if I have to apologize, you gonna pay for it. You gonna pay me if I have to apologize. Like, wow, doesn't that girl make enough money as it is? Like, she really could have done without. It was just like, ooh, this is drama. I'm gonna make it, take advantage of this. Add everything, put ads all over the place. <laughs> no, she knows they're gonna watch it, so she's just like, mm, I'm gonna make some money. I don't believe that apology. Not one I owed of belief was happening from my end. What I see from all those thumbs down, let's check again. She had like 150 thumbs down and 50 likes. What do I think about her career? I don't know. Eventually she can bounce back from it, but like for a long stretch of time, no. Her whole channel, the most famous thing that she does is story time. Now everybody knows that she's been lying about her story times. If none of it's true, what's she gonna come back to and give us? Another story time? People are gonna be like, thumbs down, girl. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We see what happens. Because, you know, like, Trisha Paytas, right? Well, Trisha Paytas, like, screws, o screws up. What happens? Like, people, everybody unsubscribes. But then, like, by next week, everybody resubscribes because they just want to see the drama and everything they're gonna just watch anyways. But that's putting money in her pocket, in Tana's pocket, right? So, I don't know. I haven't unsubscribed yet. Why? Because I want to see, I just want to see the shit hit the fan, basically. And do I feel bad about that? No, I don't. Like, I feel bad for that, for her friend was her best friend at that time. That poor kid. His friends were like, probably clowning on him all the friggin' time. And Tana and her friends thought it was just friggin' all types of hysterical. Poor guy. Did you see that part where um, she had posted on her Snapchat or something? And she puts up there, she's like, sitting on my, yes, I'm sitting on my N-I-G-E-R. What? His um, self-esteem was probably like, pff, way low from that. Probably in therapy right now, I don't know. But yeah, I can't believe that, man. All right, different topic, different topic. Okay, so, um, okay, so this is completely, completely, <laughs> guys, this is like so strange, so weird. This has to do with computers, okay? I wanted to ask you guys about something, if this has ever happened to you. This has to do with like spying, governmental spying. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are gonna think like this is nuts. Okay, now, you probably heard the rumor, okay, that the government, like, spies in on us all the time, on our phone calls, like, so they can hear everything that we're saying, but, like, there's an automated, ser there's, like, an automated service that picks up key words. So if I had a conversation and I was like, oh, we're going to bomb some so-and-so, like, um, this place, we're going to bomb this building, yeah, or just, like, the keyword bomb or going to in, in relation to that, yeah, that's when it, like, trips, it, it, like, it trips on for them to like really start listening to you. Yeah, I heard of that, right? So we, you heard of all that. And then also on your laptops, I have the camera on there. Like um, they spy on you all the time on your phone. Um, they can like spy on you anytime. So they always know what's happening in your apartment, everything, okay? Now, I always thought like, hmm, that's plausible. And then also like with Facebook, right? The, um, from what I heard is that the government and Facebook and other social medias, they work together. Like, so, like, say if somebody came to America from outside our country, right? And um, this dude creates a Facebook, whatever. They can, um, so the government now has all that information can go in from Facebook, right? And 
check out all of this stuff. They're keeping eyes on us, like they're keeping eyes on us everywhere with all this technology and um, it's crazy. But you guys, now this is the crazy, now you've heard all that before, you've heard all this before, okay? You're not gonna believe this, okay? But I just want your opinion, okay? Now I'm thinking that they don't have to spy on you with phones or computers. They don't have to spy with you, or spy on you like that, okay? Um, get this. Okay, remember a long time ago I said I'm go oh I'm going to go make a, um a red velvet cake for you guys. And okay, let just to quickly say that the reason why I didn't make the red velvet cake on the camera is because I made the red velvet cake and it didn't come out good. So I'm not going to like show you guys a cake that just the recipe was just not good. Okay, it was just ugh. so that's why I never made that video. But okay, okay, let's go back to the thing. Okay, so. I was looking up for recipes on how to make a red velvet cake, okay? Now, I know that on my own computer, um, there's a whole bunch of cookies and stuff like that where it tracks like what you're what you are watching, what you're what you're searching and stuff like that. It they say it's to basically help you um, to make a collection of your likes and um, what your interests are so the more that you search online the more and the more cookies you have on your computer like the more they're going to give you recommendations you know what I mean you ever like look up <clears throat> like just the other day I looked up I was looking up coat patterns right because you know I take sewing classes and then I went on to the next something completely different then I saw a whole bunch of ads coats 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 like not patterns but coats right and I'm like hmm <laughs> but that's normal that's normal right but this is not friggin normal back to the red velvet cake you guys okay now this I went to the computer lab here in my community okay no connection with me at all I didn't sign into any email address I did absolutely nothing I basically sat in front of the the computer right so I didn't log into my email nothing I promise you guys nothing okay I get on YouTube and I'm like I'm looking around just looking at different videos da, 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 right and in the recommendation which I'm not logged into recommended me all these red velvet cakes, all these channels that put red velvet cakes. Now you might say, oh, it's just by coincidence, well, somebody made red velvet cake videos, so it's just popping up. No, you guys, no. Some of the videos were like a year old, two years old, a few months old. Like, these are not brand new videos where it would come up and plus, I wasn't logged in, you guys. I was not logged into my Google account. So how are they going to recommend, recommend anything to me? All right. You know what I think? <laughs> I think that in the airwaves, like, yeah, I think that they, um, I think the government has, like, such major um, technology that now you don't need a phone or or a computer or any device that's okay stick stay with me you guys stay with me but i think it's like there's like ear waves in the ear that we use to talk on the phones and stuff like that but you but i don't think that for the government you don't need a phone you don't need a device or anything like that listen to you guys listen you guys right i think that they pick up on your voice I know this sounds freaky. I know that it does. Okay. <laughs> I think that they pick up on your voice. And so it recognizes your voice. And so when you sit, okay. So not just randomly. So like if I was walking down the street and, and I was talking to a friend of mine, they're like, I don't know if the government's going to hear me. Right. But if you're near a computer that you're not even logged into, there's no connection. Right. But I think that when you're near a device, that has a sound device like computers do it picks up your voice god you guys like seriously I know I have like a unique voice 
I can't call anybody without them saying, oh, hi, Apple. You know, well, you know, hi, Apple. <laughs> hey, girl, what's going on? <laughs> I called downstairs to, like, um, to my management. Oh, hello, hello, Miss Apple. They, I just have a very unique voice. But, yeah, it's just really, really weird. And I just sat there looking at the computer, like, for the longest time. I'm like, how the hell are they recommending all these things to me? that I bet that I was researching before how the heck are they do you understand what I'm talking about like I can see if I logged in oh okay now and this is not my computer I was at a computer lab so it's just weird so then I went into the owner of the um of the computer lab and I said hey Miss B right I go like this I'm like no this is really weird right and I explained to her what I just explained to you guys. She was like, that's happened to me quite often. I can't figure it out. Um, she was like, at she was like, at first, I thought it was maybe because like, I, I I forget what she says, but she has like this, this machine thing that like, so instead of typing things in, you can talk and it like activates, um, it, the computer types out what you wanted to type out, that type of thing, like a, like Dragon. You ever hear of Dragon, that software, where you just talk in it, like, yeah. So she was like, I thought that maybe it was it, but then I had other experiences where that shouldn't have happened, and I would still get some weird things that just like, how, how do they know that about me? The government's listening. Oh. <laughs> Guys, what do you think about that? The scary. Oh my God. Technology, man. Very weird. Comment below if that's ever happened to you. Comment below. <laughs> oh, you know what I want, what I do want to talk about? Now, Shane Dawson went to a function, but it's a mili like a military function, okay? And he and his boyfriend were invited along with other two gay couples, right? And there was this uh, woman who was like kind of famous, um, not celebrity famous, but political famous. Apparently, um, Shane and his boyfriend went to go take a picture with this woman, right? Yet they were just holding each other's hand and they had taken a picture with this woman. It just seems fine, right? But then all of a sudden, they got under attack Shane Dawson and his boyfriend were not only thrown out, but he was pushed down. Um, Shane said that he hurt his ankle, he hurt his leg, like, and then he takes out a video, his camera, right, from his phone, and starts videotaping, like, why were we thrown out just because we were gay, da 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 da, da right? Long story short, we come to find out that at the end of all that, it wasn't Shane and his boyfriend's fault. They were getting punished because another couple another couple got a picture with this political this political figure woman right and apparently that couple uh jumped in front of this political figure right and started making out <laughs> and so like the whole lot was thrown out including shane and the boyfriend now shane had no idea that about this other couple and what they were doing they thought, oh, we got thrown out just because we're a gay couple and we were holding hands in the picture. You know what I mean? And no, yeah. So everybody was just like, oh my God, I don't know. So that's when Shane got on Twitter and he was like, I don't even like to get involved in this type of thing. Like, I don't know, like people were like kind of attacking Shane. Like, Shane, well, it is a military function. Like, you should have known better that they're not going to, a lot of people who are in the military, um, well, we know that there's some, like, undercover gays, right? But, like, there is... You just don't go to functions and be out and out gay because those people are just really downright, like, they're not going to put up with that. They don't mind you being there. They don't mind your relationship. But just, you know, be respectful. And it's the same thing with a man and a woman. You don't jump... You don't start making out, like, <laughs> in the corner, right? You just don't do that, right? 
and yeah so it was nothing to do with Shane Dawson it turned out like the whole thing Shane was just really really humiliated he was so embarrassed he was so angry he was all over his Twitter account and he was just like I can't believe this happening to me da, 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 da. and then this political figure tried to make it worse by on her um on her Facebook account and she's just like um she purposefully doesn't mention like oh it's uh it wasn't Shane Dawson and his boyfriend that was causing um who did this to her it was another couple she purposely like she was just looking for all this drama for people to come over to her page basically she took advantage of shane dawson and her boyfriend right so like but in the end we all find out and people are just like with this political figure like psh, 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 like get out of here whatever yeah so like i don't know what happened to that like i would have been like I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I'd just be probably like, I don't know about suing and stuff like that, but I would never, never, ever go to like a military function if that happened to me ever again. And I, I kind of probably would have just felt like really humiliated and embarrassed and make sure that that's never going to happen to me again by never, never going to those functions ever again. That's probably what I'm doing. And that's probably what he was doing. Shane Dawson took everything down from off his Twitter and then he just let it go and let it be. But yeah, it was not Shane Dawson and his boyfriend who was like causing the scene and havoc while everybody on YouTube were making like videos like, oh, Shane Dawson, like what is, who does he think he is? Like kissing somebody in front of them. They didn't throw you, they threw you out with good reasoning, good reasoning. It wasn't even a friggin' Shane Dawson and his boyfriend. It was another couple who were acting like really funky and heinous and decided to take a military function just to make a, a, a gay voice. Like, I don't know, it's just like, so annoying. And by the way, like, I don't know. I don't know. That's just <laughs> Did you guys hear about that? Uh, it wasn't, it didn't really turn into a big deal because I think that like Shane just like kind of, he was just like, shut it down. Just shut it down. I'm not, I'm not trying. Uh. <sighs> I'm going to be editing the heck out of this video. Um, so yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 I'll be doe. I forgot. Okay. So you guys, have you noticed that I had changed the name of, um, of my channel? Yeah, I changed the name of my channel, you guys. It's called, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so it's called Apple Space Slices Space Unite. Apple Slices Unite. Yeah, I changed it. And the reason why I changed it up, because, like, I just figured, oh, like, if anybody wanted to share or if somebody's sitting there talking about me in, like, the comment section on other video, on other people's channels and stuff like that, like, ooh, go check out Apple, blah, blah, blah. And then they're going to go over to Apple, and all they're going to see is Apple products and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just, you know, I'm interested in seeing my vid my channel grow, like, so, like, yeah, I had to change it. But I still refer to myself as Apple. But if you ever want to share my channel, um, you will have to say Apple Slices Unite. Apple Space Slices Space Unite. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Mwah, mwah. Love everybody. Until next time. Peace. <laughs>